Okay, so I'm going to show you the BNI Connect app. So this is what it looks like when you first sign in. Uh, it should have some information about you, and it will have some information about your meeting, and some information about your uh, referrals and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is how to set up a referral, because you'll probably be doing that quite regularly. All you do is you go to the bottom, you press slips, and then at the top, you press referral. So the first thing you want to do is click on the To tab, and this brings up a list of all of the members in your chapter. So you can see in my chapter we've got 49 or something. So I will set up um, an example um, referral just to show you how it works. So inside means it's for you personally, and outside means it's for anyone that's not you personally. So I'll do, uh, I'll do an outside one for now, and you can tell them that you've told them you would call or given the card. Uh, you have to tick one of them, so make sure you do. For the referral, if you uh, click on the, the phone book number, uh, phone book option, it will bring up your, your phone's phone book and you can pick someone from there. I won't do it because of GDPR, I don't want to show you the uh, show you my phone book. Uh, I haven't got permission to do that from people, but I'll put my own name in here. Just as an example, I'll put my phone number in here. Um, but you know you should be aware that if you if you click on the phone phone book bit, it will do all of this for you. So you, you need to put an email address. You don't need to put an address. Comments. Obviously, you want it to be helpful. So um, here's a new website, something like that. And then you've got a ranking of how hot is this referral. The left one being a warm referral, and the the, the right one being a, a really good referral that they they definitely need to call. Um, in any case, there's no such thing as a bad referral, and you should call all of them, no matter what the heat rating. I don't even look at it when I receive a referral. As far as I'm concerned, the most important thing for me is that I get in touch with that person as quickly as possible before the lead goes cold and uh, establish uh, whether I can help the person. So I'll just press confirm now, and you will see that this has now appeared in my um, given referrals. And if I click on it, I can click on the eye icon, and I can see that I've given Ziggy a referral and I've told them needs a new website. So that's what it looks like. And that's so if you if you're back in your home screen and you ever want to find them, you click on slips and then you click on given and you'll see your given referrals. Oh, that's weird, it's not showing up. There you go. Click on the name and you click on the eye and you can see it. So the next option that you will have is if you click on referral, but they're not in your chapter, so you click on they're not in your chapter, you click on the magnifying glass. So I know that, uh, let's try Michelle, and do a search. She's not in my chapter. And there you see there's plenty of people that come up. Now something interesting to note here is that you can also come up in this search. So I'll teach you a little bit about that in another video. But this basically works the same, same process as previously. Uh, you click on the person's name, and then, looks weird, why are they? And then you click continue. Sorry, technical problem. So yeah, click continue, and then still fill in the same as I've previously showed you, filling in all that information. So that the only difference between that and the last way is the last way they were in your chapter, and this way they were possibly from another chapter. Well, definitely from another chapter, or they wouldn't be in the system. So really, really useful. If you have got somebody you need to refer some work to, and you don't have someone in your chapter, it's really good to find somebody in another chapter, pass them the work. It still goes on your BNI statistics. It still counts as uh, they should still thank you for the business, and obviously they'll, they'll appreciate you and they will remember you potentially in the future and refer things back to you. Uh, obviously, if you've got someone in your member uh, in your chapter, you should probably try and use them first.